Hi, my name's Paul Cresswell. Welcome to Paul's Tackle Reviews. The purpose of this YouTube channel is to give you some real life reviews of tackle that's been out on the bank, tried and tested by an unsponsored, unbiased angler, and that's me. As I say with all of my videos, just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you, but I'll give you information. Maybe you'll want to try stuff, but it's up to you. We all have our own ways of fishing and our own ways of setting up. So today I'm doing something slightly different. It's called Paul's Tackle Awards, and there's going to be 10 categories here. Now, I'm not doing poles, rods and reels because I've used so few it would be purely subjective for me to say that's the best pole, that isn't because you just don't experience them. What I've got is lots of small things. Everything you're going to see today is under a tenner and I've used lots of different competitors products on this so I feel I can give a good venue, a good opinion. It is my opinion and some of you will disagree and some of you have certain brands you won't use and all of that but I'd be interested in any comments you've got so let's get started. The first award is for the best pole elastic and I'm giving it that to the Preston Jura slip elastic. I'll put some photos up here, some close ups. And this has been out now for um, probably getting on for eight, nine months. It's a hybrid elastic. I've tried lots of hybrids, I've tried lots of hollows, and I'm old enough that we all started on solids in my day. So this is the best hybrid I've used. I don't know whether it's because they soak it in lubricant before they package it up. It might be. You still need to use lubricant with it when you're out on the bank. I use it in sizes from 5 to 17 and I've got top kits with every single size. I've done a separate video on my YouTube channel looking at the elastic and looking at how I balance it with line and hooks if you want to look at that and the kind of applications that you'd use. It does last very well. I've had it in my top kit since it came out and especially at the Dacron where with hollows and solids you can get a bit of fraying. I've seen none of that. What's my favourite ones in the range? Well I think the 5 is brilliant silvers the 11 is a real good catch anything kind of elastic, kind of white hydro in, in old terms. 15 is a really good carp elastic, 13 I, I love, 17 is for the margins and I, I've used it an awful lot, easy to get hold of, great product. The next award is for the best micro pellets and there's an awful lot out there and I do appreciate there's lots of venues you go and you've got to use their pellets so obviously in those circumstances you don't have a choice but lots of venues let you choose. I've tried an awful lot over the years and I've now settled on Ringers R2 they're called and if I'm using them on the method, I tend to soak them for two to three minutes so they just start to take on water. I think that's absolutely perfect for them. If I'm using them on the pole for F1s maybe, I'll just put them in a tub, cover them with water and give it half an hour and let really let them fluff up. They work well in the margins. If you overwet them, they sink beautifully. And they do have a little bit of stickiness to them, so they're great on the method. It's also easy to form balls if you're fishing on the pole and you want to put a little pinch of micros in. Um, I've got nothing to say. I've tried a lot of brands. This is the one I've settled on. 
The next award is for the best Dacron connector and again we all started on plastic and then we've moved on to Dacrons. I've tried lots of different things over the years. I'm not talking about F1 kits here where I use a bead and, and just an overhand knot. I'm talking about general two and a half meter top kits where you're fishing with a normal rig. And the winner is the Matrix Dacron connectors. And I'll put a picture there. These are, they just work really well. They've got a nice material. I've never had one snap at the Dacron. They've got a lovely soft bead and, and it's just the best I've used. It's not life and death which Dacron you use. I've used lots, but I think I've settled on these. If I got a new pole, I'd just use these. Um, I tend to use the medium size um, up to 15 on the Jura slip. Anything above that, you'll be looking at the large. Now we're on to the best expander pellets. And I love fishing expander pellets, whether that's on the pole or on the method. I just think they are a great bait. And I hardly ever go fishing without just a few with me on any day, even in the depths of winter and the height of summer. So the very best, I think, are the Preston Pro Expander Pellets. And you've all seen these available in 2, 4, 6 and 8 millimeter. I use all the different sizes. They don't need any pumping. They are really easy to prepare. They produce a really good pellet. So how do I prepare them? Well, you need to get yourself one of these little kind of click tubs a pound a kind of hardware shop or whatever you get them at Tesco's if I'm say doing twos fours and sixes I'll maybe put a third full and then as I get up in the morning I'll put some cold water on them to fill the pot I might even if we're in some pop an ice cube in as well just so it's proper cold water put that on put it in my bag and then 10 o'clock they are perfect to use. When you get to the bank I do tend to drain them off and put them in fresh water um, and just just so that they're they're covered but they don't need a lot of maintenance they are brilliant pellets and I've also tried using the 8 millimeter pellets as recommended by Jamie Hughes where you put them in there with the water and a bit of glycerin and then you pack them in tight and then you get a nice really big firm pellet that you can use on the bomb and and i've tried that recently and that's really good great for use when you you're feeding eight mils and you can fish one or two of the eight mil expanders on a hook The next award is for the best paste and we've all got various mixes. I've tried an awful lot. There's specific ground baits and there's specific paste mixes. But um, a couple of months ago, Midi sent me a couple of bags of their new, um, uh, sorry, Adrenaline sent me a couple of bags of their new mega ground bait. And this is carp method mix and I've got the red and the green. And it's a really good uh, mix for using on the method. And I've covered this in an, another video if you want to look at. But the red is now my go-to paste mix. It's, it's quite simply, it's caught me more fish. I, and I believe I get a better proportion of carp to skimmers on a couple of venues I go. We can end up getting bittered out and whatever with the skimmers just taking it I've caught an awful lot of fish with this so they sent me a couple of bags for free I've now started buying it myself so I'm investing that and I've got the green as well that I use on the method it's very straightforward to prepare I tend to put some in a tub measured out and then put about 90% of the measure in water stir it leave it for half an hour and then see whether you need to add more water but really mix it well with the stirring process 
If you do that a couple of days in advance and put the tub in the fridge, it goes even stickier as well and quite a claggy mix that I, that I like to use. So you don't have to do it on the bank, you can do it in advance, but 20 minutes to half an hour, you've got really great usable paste. 5.99 for 1.4 kilos, that's an awful lot of paste made up there. The next award is for the carp reel line. So I tend to use eight pound line on there and I haven't got anything to hold because I've realized in putting this video together, I've run out. So I need to order some more, but I'll put a picture there. I use Matrix Horizon eight pound reel line. This is an 020 diameter and it is 020 diameter. Um, unlike some claim and if you're looking at comparable in other brands that would maybe get you five or six pounds so you get eight pound you get the thinness which is great to fish with it's fairly low stretch I cannot remember the last time I snapped off with this it's very reliable and I use it on the uh, waggler as well and I use it on the feeder as my carp main real line. The next award best catapults and god I've tried a lot of catapults over the years but after much trying and shopping around I'm back with the good old Drennans. Now they used to be called Drennan Team England when they stopped sponsorship they've changed the branding this one's called their Waggler this is called their pole line one. It's essentially the same, all the elastics interchange. Um, I don't know what there is to say other than these just work the best. Now, the only Drennan product that I don't like was I did try the Revolution catapults and I just didn't get on with them at all. I have tried other bands, brands, but I feel these are best. The, the Waggler one is a great pellet Waggler one or if you're firing into wind and fishing at distance. And then the pole line one is really easy, firing all kinds of baits. They've both got soft pouches and a nice little tag on the bottom. Once you get used to these, they are absolutely fantastic catapults. Next award, best silvers real line. And you might think, well, he's just going to pluck out four pound horizon here. And I have used that as my line and that's an 016 diameter. And it was, it was okay, but I didn't get on great with it. I did get a few tangles and I don't know if that's because it is so thin, but I now use Guru Pulse line, not pro, just the straightforward pulse, the four pound, 018 diameter fairly low stretch line doesn't seem to curl as it comes off the spool um, I, I've caught some really big fish with this I think it's got great strength I think it's accurate you get 300 meters on a spool so you can with a bit of backing do two or even three three reels out of that I don't fish uh, over 60 yards very often at all it sinks brilliantly and I use it for both the waggler and the feeder when I'm fishing for silvers. Best pole line now and I use one brand for almost everything. It covers my main lines and it covers my hook lens and I've been using the Matrix Power Micron and they've just I think they've just rebadged it um, to now called uh, Power Micron with a different colouring. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant line that hasn't let me down. In terms of tying the hook lens, it ties brilliant. There's no kinks, it works great. Um, main lines, I tend to use 016 and 020 for nearly all of my rigs. And then the hook lens I'm using 12, 14, 16 and 20. I do use Drennan Suplex in 010 diameter. 
I'm not sure why, but I really like it and I just carry on using it. I probably couldn't get hold of this and I've got some and it works for me. But my award for the all round pole line is Power Micron from Matrix. The final award, best accessory. And I was sat fishing the other day and I was thinking about how I was going to put this video together. And I was trying to think of something to come up with best accessory. And I was using a, a bait spike and I was getting a hook length ready with a with a, an expander. All of a sudden my rod went like that, almost came off the front rest. In fact, it started to, and I grabbed hold of it. And I suddenly realized the best accessory is this and it's the Guru Reaper rear rest. Use what you want at the front. I do use the Guru at the front. I've done a video showing them both and on that video that's on my channel I you can see me and I put the rod in here and I start hitting the rod and I start hitting the rod really hard and it just makes it secure. If you've ever lost a rod in, and I've lost one in, terrible experience. We could be talking a 200 pound rod with a 100 pound reel or even more, and it could just go and you might not get it back. This locks it in, protects you and saves you for those. You, you only need to be looking away for a couple of seconds and you get a really big take. So that wins the award for my best accessory. There we are, my awards. You'll agree with some, you'll disagree with others. We're all different, I'm not saying follow me, but maybe if you're struggling with something, let's say micro pellets, you might want to try the ringers if you haven't tried them already. You might find it works for you. Any comments, any questions, that's great. Give me your opinions any of that no problems if you want to give me a thumbs up and a like for the video that's great it does spur me on um, if you want to subscribe you'll get automatically notified of future videos i'm i'm getting through my tackle but i'm still coming up with ideas for videos last week i took delivery of my supera 10 foot feeder rod i've had two fantastic sessions with that and i'm going to look at seeing whether i could do um, a video on the Preston Zupera 10 foot feeder rod. Until next time, tight lines.